Hello everyone, welcome back to the 120th. I am out with the Toyo large format camera with the 100 year old lens on it. Uh, this time actually going to give it a go in the real world. I have the wonderful actor Ashley Robson with me. Hello everyone. Nice uh, to see you. Ashley has very kindly uh, agreed to let me photograph him yep. rather than photographing uh, trees. So that's nice. No Thanks, problem. mate. No problem. Uh, and because Ashley is uh, an esteemed actor, um, we're going to try something a little bit different with this shoot. I'm going to try. Um, I want to do a bit of a narrative shoot with uh, Ashley, kind of in character a little bit. I haven't quite decided what that character will be, but yeah. essentially, rather than just doing, you know, straight portraits, yeah. I'm going to go off into the woods and. Um, you're either, are you a man on the run? Could be. Yeah? It could be, I feel like a man on the run. Okay, you're a man on the run, so we might just like loosen up your tie. Don't do it yet. Let's, let's, let's get some kind of really smart ones where you're entering the, but we're, I'm trying to tell a story with these photos. Just, uh, it was still black and white, so um, I'll bear, bear that in mind as I'm shooting. I've got one light with me, just so that I can um, lift Ashley, wherever he is, and make sure that he is the, 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 the focus of that, wherever I'm placing him on screen. Um, I have done some testing with the wonderful 100 year old lens to make sure that I've got a rough idea of the offset and of course what I missed last time is the um, bellows length compensation so I'm going to be trying to pay attention to that as well. Uh, let's go for a wonder shall we? Yeah. All right. So uh, we're down here, uh, uh, where, what's this park called? Shore Forest Park. Shore Forest Park. Um, this is Ashley's neck of the woods. Um, I was down here doing some, uh, just doing some headshots for Ash, because he for some for his actor's portfolio type thing, um, uh, and Ash very kindly agreed to let me uh, take some shots on uh, on this large format camera. Right, so should we just start here? This looks good enough. I think what I'd like is just one of you kind of squatting, hand on the floor, looking slightly kind of perturbed, looking out of breath, as if you've been running. And I think we'll do it just here, sort of somewhere near this tree. Does that work for you? Yeah. Oh. So let's get right down. So we're doing a narrative shoot. Ash is gonna be a man on the run and we'll do a few scenes with that concept in mind. To get us in the mood, DJ some thriller movie music, please. Okay, we're ready. Let's have a look at Ash in position there. I wouldn't actually mind being a bit closer. Let's just move a bit. Then we're gonna bring it down a fraction. I'm happy with that setup. Okay, so we've got Ash here. He is gonna be squatting just there. And oh, dude, don't ruin your suit. Uh, I have one light here, which is, uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, which is literally just picking up Ash a little bit, just getting a little bit more light on his face. Um, Trying to lift him from the background. So, what's below 25? I've got a tenth of a second. Do you think you can hold still enough for a tenth of a second, Ash? Yeah, you're gonna have to be absolutely. So, a tenth at four five. So we're going wide open. Okay, we are focused, we're ready to go. So we're gonna close the front. In goes the dark slide, close that. Right, let's cock the shutter. You good there, Ash? Out comes the dark slide. Put that there. Shutter is cocked. Here we go. Holding nice and still. Three, two, one. All right. Dark slide back in. At ease, Ash. Thank you very much. That's one. Let's do something different. Okay, so let's go standing now. Actually, do you know what? This is quite nice. I might just do one from low down, shooting up at you. Uh, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Gonna cock the shutter, dark slide out. All right, three, two, one. And that is two frames shot. Oy. Okay, so what I think, do you know what I really wanted was a, a shot of you, actually, this might be quite nice. So here's what we're gonna go for. I'm gonna stay quite low, I think. So back a bit, I'd say. Probably about here. And looking over there, please. Yeah, nice. Uh, bring that left arm up a bit. Dark side out. Three, two, one.
beautiful, thank you. Dark slide back in. Right, so come a bit closer for me, please. We're just gonna do the same, roughly the same kind of frame. So I want you sort of over this way. There you go, hold it there. And then turn back to me, please. Three, two, one. All right, There's two more done. Okay. So here's our next frame with the wonderful patient Ash. It's just gonna be sort of poking out from behind the trees there. Do you, want to, can, do you mind um, undoing your top button and loosening your tie a little bit? I think we'll just, um, you've been on the run for a while now, Ash. Yeah? <laughs> angry, give me angry. You've got a good angry face, but looking over there as if you're looking down that way. Yeah, that's nice, cool. Right, hold there please, Ash. There, perfect. All right, hold it there, three, two, one. Great, thank you. At ease. Let's, let's want meander down that way a little bit, back towards the path. This is all about me not carrying stuff too far. This is a hell of an outfit to try and lug around with all the kind of peripherals as well. At this point, my video camera battery died, but we shot two more frames while we were out and about, which I'll show you now, and give this thriller movie music one last run out. This one didn't really work, shutter speed was too slow, any fast and I wouldn't have had an image. But this one I really like. Right then, we're all done. Uh, Ash, thank you so much, mate. Really no appreciate problem, it. No uh, thank you for your patience and uh, putting up with my slightly wacky ideas. Loved it. Appreciate it. So we'll take it back to the dark room now and uh, develop those and see what we've got. Uh, I think I've got it all right, but who knows? We'll find out. Right then, so there we go. Um, that went well. I'm happy with the results of that. Things we've learned from our shoot. Uh, number one, the lens works. And I mean, it really works and I'm chuffed and thrilled about that. 100 year old lens. As I said, there is some compensation to be made for shutter speeds, we're a little bit wayward, um, but it works. Um, and th those compensations work. So uh, I am super thrilled, that's great. However, there was a problem, which you were probably not aware of, I hope, and that's with the negatives. So um, I used Fomapan 100, um, developed in my usual way using all my usual chemicals. There are lots and lots of tiny, tiny purple dots all over the negatives. Now, as you saw from the video, it's kind of okay um, when viewed at, uh, at relatively low resolution uh, from a distance or whatever, but you couldn't blow them up. This is what they look like converted to positive, so reversed, um, and you can see all the tiny little white dots if you zoomed right in. Let me take you back a stage now and show you the positive scans of these images um, in color. So before I've kind of fully black and white, whited it and taken all the color out of it and, and done the processing on them. Uh, and then we zoom in again and here we can see it. I'm not gonna go into it any further on this video. What I am gonna do is do a separate video because I've done some um, research online and have now discovered that it's, it's, something that it's, it's a problem that people come across. It gets blamed variously on um, poor film stock um, and um, chemicals uh, and, and it potentially being particulates in the fixer. Um, for a fixer that is potentially too old. And, and that could well be the case. My fixer is, I've been using the same solution of fixer for um, maybe four or five months. I test it every now and again on a bit of um, spare film to test the clearing time um, to make sure that I'm fixing for long enough. However, what I wasn't aware of uh, is that you can potentially get particles of silver basically um, condensing and, 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 and forming in that fixer solution. So it could be that, and apparently the way to test if that is the case is to run your fixer. I mean, the easiest thing to, to, to do is to, to take some more shots on that same film stock and uh, run it through fresh chemicals, uh, which I will do. But you can also run the fixer through a coffee filter and it will potentially leave behind those particles that may be in suspension in the liquid. Separate video on that, I'll look into it. Going back to the point today, thrilled with those images. 
on to the next challenge, which is, I don't know what the shoot will be, but it's starting to introduce some, some tentative camera movements um, into the front and rear standard. Uh, so looking forward to that. All right, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and I shall see you next time for more analog film, fun and games. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.